Hello, and today we're going to do a review of the Vampire Tarot by Robert M. Plakes. Um, very cheesy looking box. Um, I did get this very, very cheap. I'm not sure what it usually goes for, but I got it in a cheapy bookshop. It has twenty seven ninety five here on the back. Don't know if it'll focus. There we go. Or thirty nine. Which is usually never the price you end up paying. Um, I know in Ireland we pay a lot more than the back price when we're going to actual shops, which that's fine because they have to make a profit. Um, yeah, I just happened to get this on a good deal, even though it's very cheesy. So, The Vampire Tarot by Robert M. Place. Side of the box is pretty basic, it's a big box. Um, Let's see what it says here. Well, actually, if you can see the cards, they're, um... I don't know how I feel about the cards, to be honest with you. We'll, we'll know more when we open them up. Um, I got a sort of price where I couldn't not. Um, Vamp Tower is a beautiful, rendered, fully realised, classic 19... Or, sorry, fully realised tarot that explores Legend of the Vampire, starring Bram Stoker's classic... 90, or 1897 novel Dracula with writings inspired Stoker and Vampire Lord la, 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 la. St. Martin's Press 175th Avenue New York New York 10,010 Street or whatever the way that works printed in China so let's get this open let do I am a little bit overly careful opening these because I don't like damaging the box. Yeah, to, all I need to do is get enough to get a thumbnail in and I'm good to go. There we go. Okay. Okay, and as pretty much expected, a box this size, book this size, because it's never done for the cards that size. Uh, yep. Oh, let the cards go back for a second. Again, St. Martin's Press. This is a pretty thick book. Um, pretty much the same as on the front. Contents, the history, philosophy of the tarot, the vampire legend, and art. That, so that takes up the first, bum bum bum, up to 145 pages. The vampire tarot trumps then starts at 145. And card explanations run through till bum bum bum, 211. And then using the cards, it's about 10 pages. Notes, it's about 2 pages. Bibliography. Okay. Um, oh, 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 that's, that's, that's a decent read now. Here's rendering the world famous Francois Herri Tarot, Swiss history. Yeah, it's a, it, that's a read in itself. And um, bum, 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 keep going, strength. The minor suits, so there's no pictures in this really. Three of knives. Yeah. No real pictures to match up with the cards, but then again, you have the cards, so what do you care? Although I do like to have the pictures to look at, especially when they're talking about detail. Mm -hmm. Plastic. Nice and solid. Cards. Wow. That's that's a that's a square deck. And the first thing you notice is these edges are square. There was no rounding on the edges at all. Mm. Backs. How do we feel about the backs? Mm. I'm not really sure. I, I like the fact that you can't tell whether or not they're reversed. Um, I don't usually read reverse cards anyway. But, you know. Ooh, no copyright, nothing else now. 
There we go. Okay. Mark on the card, obviously, some, some chemical use in printing. Some powder. Unless they're using. Ooh, I wonder if they actually powder these. No, I don't think so. Not by the feel. So, wow. That's, um. <laughs> yeah, gonna shuffle this deck real well. I think this is, this is like, even Hay House decks don't stick together this much. Wow. I'm just, I, I, I really don't want to peel these apart with damage them, or damage them. Let's try. Wow. That's, that, that's, wow. The back's coming off anyway, so we'll see. The King of Stakes. Mm -hmm. Hold on. There we go. That's a bit better. Ooh. Not a good sign when cards do that. Queen of Stakes. Very, very error type one. Charlotte Stoker. Hmm, I wonder if that's Bram Stoker's missus. <gasps> Edgar Allan Poe is the Knight of Stakes. I'm actually really, 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 really loving this now. Because we're getting literary stuff in it. I have no idea who she is. Liguilla? Let's pull some more cards off. Ready? Wow. I've never had a deck do this before. Okay, it's obviously the Ten of Stakes. I'm assuming stakes are swords. We do nine. Um, they're not overly illustrated miners, but, you know. There we go. It's like you have to crack the seal on them. Wow. Do -do -do -do. Eight. Seven. Peel some more off. You could not do that yourself. see someone getting frustrated with this and then taking a knife or something to it and trying to peel them and just destroy them. Wow. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Okay. There we go. Six. Five. Four. Oh god, we have to do this again. Please don't do this after I put you back in the box. Three. Two. Eggs. 
Yeah, that's not really illustrated at all, is it? And boom, boom. The rest aren't too bad, I mean. For the price I paid, like. Okay. King of Garlic Flowers, Ram Stoker. Lawrence Stoker, the Queen. I'm going to assume that this is probably just re the reason I got this cheap was it was really, really just sitting somewhere for a long time. Hence why they're all together. Jean Audrey, don't know, Knight of Flowers. Knave, or sorry, Knight of, yeah, Knight of Garlic Flowers, Lord Ruthven. Sounds familiar. Probably a ton of you just looking at this thing. <gasps> it's so and so! Yeah. I just don't remember what the minute. Okay, that's coming apart. That's coming apart. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now I have to say, so far, I don't think there's any real damage to that. There's a little bit of marking there. Um, not really noticeable unless you shine it. Do, do, do. Okay, ten. Two, nine, eight, seven, six, and the junk. They do actually feel like they would shuffle well once they're all separated. There is the five. Four. There we go. Three. Two eggs. Ellen Terry apparently is the queen of knives. God, I hope I don't have to do this again. Lord Byron, everyone knows Lord Byron is the King of Knives. Okay. Knave of Knives is the Knight Marie of Life and Death. Samuel, looks like damage to the card, ish. Knight Marie, oh Jesus Christ. <sighs> This is getting a pain in the backside of the stage. Yeah. Bomb. Bomb. Come on and hurry up, majors. Ace. Two, 
to three. I've done this the wrong way around, haven't I? Yeah. Five. Hold on, let me get these back up. Ace. Two. Yeah, because this is going to really annoy me if I put them in the wrong order. So anyway. Definitely ones I'm gonna have to pick up some fanning powder for. Yeah, that needs some fanning powder. If anyone does know fanning powder, is it's a uh, you'll get it from magic suppliers. It's basically to make sure um, it's basically to make sure cards slide properly and can be shuffled easy, and it makes it easier to do magic tricks. But it helps with shuffling decks. Um, let's see, Sir Ivan. Irving, it's definitely familiar. King of Holy Water. Is Pamela Coleman Smith, the Queen, the Knight, the Knave, who uh, Carmelia, God, this is really painful. This t this is coming up on twenty minutes now, and we haven't gotten anywhere near the miners. I'm just going to pause the video for a second. There we go. We have eight. Sorry, yeah, eight, seven, six, five, and back to this little fucking brick. Oh, thank God I can actually move that bit. Go. Three, oh sorry, four, three, two, ace. Okay. Seriously. You ready? Well, I know I should probably give up at this stage, but I mean, oh, thank God, I'm 
majors. Um, I think I've gone too far. The world. Okay. Sudden judgment. Here lies the body of Captain Jonathan. Something, something. Okay, single card. The sun. Not a bright idea if you're a vampire. Um, the moon. The star. The tower. Devil, oh, for a vampire card, didn't really put too much into the devil today. Temperance. Death. The madman. I think this one, the decks were... Borders actually work really, really well. Strength. Hermit and Faith. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're getting close. Justice. The Wagon. Lovers. Van Helsing. Was Van Helsing in them um, from Stoker's Dracula? I don't remember the names of any characters, to be you. The Count. I read the book Donkey's Years Ago, and I also read the, um, or sorry, I also watched the movie, but even the movie was Donkey's Years Ago as well. I can't even remember if they kept the same names for the movie. Um, Mina. Doo -doo -doo. The Magician. And finally, Jonathan the Fool. That was an ordeal. It really was. Let's pick them up. Overall, the cards aren't that bad. Um, the picture, picture wise, um, cardstock's quite thick. Um, I can already tell now these aren't going to shuffle well at all. I mean, look at that. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of work to get them to shuffle, and I think it really is going to be a case of fanning powder. Which is a shame, because as much as I complain about some decks, you rarely ever, ever need fanning powder. It's a big size deck, and the corners are quite pointy, so they're going to get worn pretty quickly. And it's going to make the deck look a bit raggedy. Which, if you want a nostalgic look, that mightn't be too bad. So that is the Tower of the Vampires. Um by Robert M. Pallas. Um, 
I'd like to say St. Martin's Press, please review what you do with your cards. I mean, seriously, that was ridiculous. 25 minutes to go through a deck of cards. And I went through as quickly as I could. Um, possibly damaging one of the cards. Well, no, there is damage on one of the cards. I'm not sure if I did or not. But, um, yeah. It was like a Young Jin Lim. Or, yeah, Young Jin Lim could sign the cover because it was printed in China. Very cartoony type thing. Um, oh, I'm going to go take a break. Click like and subscribe.